What's up there, peoples? This is going to be a cool video, and I'm really going to enjoy doing this because we are going to build a V bending press brake. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? That I spent a couple days actually putting together calculator, ruler, pencil, seven pages. Seven pages. It's going to be cool. You might actually get to see me screw something up pretty good. Hopefully not, but you might. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna stop blibber blabbering and let's get to the machining. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, first things first, the print. Along with a picture of what it's supposed to look like when we're done, we also have its capacity and usage requirements. After that, each piece is laid out nice and neat, easy to follow. And the last page here has the order of operations that I plan on using. And the first operation is on the die main body, 45 degrees, or 90 degrees included, depending on how you want to look at it. Anyway, our goal now is to machine that angle until both top flats are at 1 16th of an inch. So with that, depth of cut is marked, Z-stop is set, let the project begin. Whoa, looks like the Z gib. <laughs> looks like the Z gib might need just a little bit more adjustment. Okay, let's continue. Okay, well, we're looking pretty good so far. But I've ran that 7 16 end mill just about as far as I'm willing to push it. As it is, I had to extend it down a little bit just so I could clear that clamp. So, what I think we'll do now is put in a bigger end mill and see how far we can get with that. Now with that bigger end mill in here, I'm not quite comfortable plunging with it. It's not that I think the machine can't handle it, it's more along the lines of I'm not quite sure if my work holding setup can handle it. And I don't want that thing to come flying out because that would like just suck. So <laughs> what I've opted to do is what I call the top down method and I'm just going to take off about 50 or 60 thousandths at a time until I reach the Z stop. You know what's that they say? Get her done? Well let's get her done.
Well, it's getting closer. I mean, we got roughly 130,000s to go. But with only about 30,000s of end mill to clamp clearance, we're going to have to come up with a different way to finish this. Hmm. All right, well, let's tear down, we'll set up, and we'll make something. And there we go. Through the magic of video editing, we now have a quick set of angle parallels. Now there are definitely some modifications I could do to these to make these things more useful for say like round stock or something. But for now, it's going to keep us on track for the current project. So let's move forward. Alright, that puts the angle to print, but I've already decided to deviate from the original plan by putting chamfers on all four vertical edges and at the bottoms of the front and rear face. Also, originally I was just going to give this piece a sandblasted finish, but decided to go ahead and give the front and rear face a machine finish. Yeah, I can tell by the sound of it that that was just going to break. <laughs> There we go. That's what I'm talking about.
And after bead blasting it, for no particular reason other than I was tired of looking at it, <laughs> I tried to fly cutter again. And as you can tell from this evil slap, this is not going to end well. <laughs> really? Then I remembered, the last time I had this kind of trouble was when I was trimming the mill. I had shimmed the column in such a way that it left the mill's rigidity compromised. So with that in mind, I checked that the column bolts were tight, and they were, and I readjusted the Z-gib, which was a bit loose, no doubt from all the plunge milling. Lesson learned. But I don't want to waste any more project metal on this, so the test piece Boom. Solid again. Awesome. But even with that, I decided just to end mill the whole darn part. Because honestly, I really do like the finish of the sandblasted end mill tool marks. And the unblasted tool marks are going to look pretty trippy under some X-Metals paint. Extreme anodized metal finish. That's going to be cool. <laughs> well, alright, step one is complete. Now, I really didn't expect it to take this long, but with all the details that I'm showing and all of my screw ups, it's turning out to be quite a long video, so I'm going to put it out in parts. But nonetheless, step one is complete to the V bending press break. So, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, Keep watching. Hello there, so how you doing? You doing good? I hope you're doing good. I really want you to do good. Do good. Do good. <laughs> I hate crickling chairs when I'm trying to make a video. It is not good. YouTube has it all, man. YouTube has it all. <laughs>